Hi everybody from a beautiful day in Skyrim. Today I'm looking at Chateau's Pod Reverie. It's by Crystal Tower 15. It's quite new, so I'm not going to give you any spoilers, but head for this cave, Hidden Root Cave. Once you've been through it, you will come across, um, you'll need to collect an item to allow you to continue on into the actual glade where the home is. That item is a really nice weapon. <laughs> uh, I've been using it, it's absolutely brilliant. Look at that, Elvin's Tetra Touch. I really like it a lot actually, it's really useful in a fight and look at the value. So um, yeah, good one. And then once you've done that, a second um, waypoint will appear, the Way Shrine. I'll just show it to you anyway. so you don't have to go all the way through again you know and here it is pretty little thing so you just need to click on that and you're in it's super beautiful here if you want to leave again by the way just click on this and off you go but yeah how lovely there are three followers in here this is where you'll come in through that door over there the lighting gorgeous so gorgeous it reflects the time of day and the weather outside. So nice. That's your little pod, which I'll take you into in a second. In this tree house, this is where the people that will follow you live. Uh, they can hang out here. Workbench, grindstone, all the crafting equipment is here, by the way. There are also bedrolls as well as um, uh, places for them up here where they can sleep and cook and, you know, and they do, they wander about and they do things, it's, you know, they're not just like standing there, <laughs> you know what I mean? They are making use of the place, it's it's really good to see. Uh, so yeah, beautifully designed. Look, as you look around, so pretty. What a lovely place. Alright then, so that's them taken care of. Let's have a look at our pod. Oh, but before we do, there's also a little fishing area. If you're into fishing, I know a lot of people are. It's not really my cup of tea, but then... Yeah. So there's some archery targets there. Forge up here. Smelter. And then this little shack. And fish tanks and quite a few. So if you're a collector, you've got somewhere to show them off. Very nice too. Wow, so very pretty. All right, let's get indoors and I'll show you the pod. Like I say, it's only small. And it really reminds me of my little house in EverQuest 2, the very first home I ever had. I play as a fae, so um, I lived in a, in a massive acorn. <laughs> In a in a magical tree, you know, like you do. And I think because of the round walls and everything, it just so reminds me of my my little acorn home. So how pretty! We've got oven, cooking pot. Everything's been put together so beautifully. Look at these. Well, nice. The colours, everything. It's so restful and peaceful and lovely in here. Check this out. What is that? It looks like a giant pork pie. Like the biggest I've ever seen in my life. Hey, in a go, having a drink. And there's only a couple of mannequins, a couple of weapon racks, but the storage in here is actually really good. Uh, there is plenty of it. They're going upstairs. More weapon racks. And then your bedroom is kind of split into two halves. There's the bed over here, and look how magical that looks. Absolutely stunning. Not terribly comfy. <laughs> Could do with a mattress, but you know. Some stories. Oh, I've never seen that before. I wonder if it's written by the mod author. Weapon plaques, a couple of wardrobes, chest. All very Bosmerian, that's a word. Love these little chairs. Super cosy. And then you're crafting up here. Do you know what? I haven't noticed if there's any soils around. I should have checked on that, but you can always add your own. 
How lovely is this? And an enchanter. Oh, well, nice. Okay, I think that covers everything. Do let me know what you think about this one. I think it's utterly charming and different too. It's not something that you've seen... 10 times already so i will leave you with that unique view call that the end of this video say thank you so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it do let me know what you think about this one down in the comments and i will see you soon for the next take care and stay safe everybody